Commander in Chief President Ranu Vikramasinghe, who arrived at the Booster Advanced Naval Training Center, was received by the Commander of the Navy, Vice Admiral Priyanta Pereira, and the Chief of the Volunteer Brigade, Rear Admiral Dambika Kumara. His Excellency, Honorable Ranil Vikramasinghe, the President and Commander in Chief. <laughs> A special military honor was presented to the president and the president also joined in observing the parade. The president presented the colors to the volunteer force of the Sri Lanka Navy and presented the flag. Now 14 years have passed since the end of the war. Now we must focus on the present and the future. What we have to face today is not the situation of 2009 or 1983. Today the struggle of the world powers has reached the Indian Ocean. On one hand, there is a power struggle between America and China in the Pacific Ocean. On the other hand, there is a power struggle between Ukraine and Western Russia. That power struggle has also reached the country of Niger in Africa, which is the neighboring country of Mali, where our army is serving. The most important trade route in the world is located in the Indian Ocean. Sri Lanka occupies an important place there. We must move forward without getting caught up in these power struggles and without bias. We have to pay attention to our safety there. Today we are involved in world politics. Whether we like it or not, we have to think about it. If so, I hope to conduct a review of the future national security of this country. Every country in Europe conducts such a review every five or ten years. They conduct a review of what are the threats to the country, what are the resources of the country and how it should be implemented. Accordingly, decisions are made by comparing their military power and economic strength. We should also pay attention to that. Today, there are many modern technical devices such as donor. The use of submarines in the Indian Ocean has increased. So, for our maritime security, we should focus on creating a program that controls submarines. Also, we cannot say that airplanes and donors will be operational in the future. More technology should be used in the future than today. As a poor country, it is difficult for us to do these things. Future challenges cannot be faced from the past. Therefore, I hope to conduct a review of national security in this country. This review report should be prepared by focusing on new economic trends and climate change. After receiving the report, it is expected to prepare modern security policies of the National Security Council. Defence 2030 has appointed the necessary review team to prepare this report under the leadership of former Major General Channa Gunatilaka. A separate office has also been created for that work. President Ranil Vikramasinghe also joined to watch the beautiful band performance by the Sri Lanka Navy.